when you feed your gut bacteria McDonald's and Twinkies and donuts, what do you think happens? You cultivate bad bacteria. It's really that simple. The answer, we'll just tell you right now, it is the gut. So bariatric surgery, the way that it really causes rapid weight loss is by changing the release of gut hormones called incretin hormones that are responsible for controlling more than 50% of insulin's activity. When you eat mindfully, when you chew your food, when you eat whey protein or pea protein, when you have resveratrol or curcumin, you naturally increase these hormones. Supplementing with protein twice a day. You have better workouts, better recovery, your resting metabolic rate is higher. So a recent study showed that leaky gut is linked with belly fat. The, the point of showing you these studies is when we think weight loss, a lot of people think of thermogenic agents, right? You've heard of ephedra and green tea and things that are gonna increase heat and thermogenesis. While that does work in the short term, you know, it enhances what's called lipolysis, which we're gonna talk about, and more, you know, long-term strategy to get at the root cause, which is what we're all trying to do with our patients, is treating where the problems start, which based upon the research is, is the gut. Here's what happens. There's this molecule called SOCS3, suppressor of cytokine signaling three. When you have leaky gut, this gets turned on. Guess what happens to both your leptin and insulin receptor at the same time? They get turned off. Okay, so this is, if you want to get really down to the minutia of insulin and leptin resistance, it's right here. And again, this increases from leaky gut. Is obesity an autoimmune disease? It meets four of the five defining criteria of an autoimmune disease. Fat tissue releases a lot of bad stuff, leptin being one of them. And this can impede your patient's ability to burn fat. We talked about caffeine earlier, so here's kind of how caffeine works for those of you that are interested in the biochemistry. Caffeine inhibits this enzyme, this phosphodiesterase enzyme, that turns on hormone-sensitive lipase, uh, breaks up this lipid droplet. So you, you have your adipocyte, your fat cell, and stored fat is in this, these little things called lipid droplets. They're stored as triacylglycerols, triglycerides, but they're burned in your muscle as free fatty acids. So you need to snip up this triglyceride, mobilize those free fatty acids to your muscle tissue. When you exercise, you actually release adrenaline and that latches on to this beta adrenergic receptor and adrenaline is needed for fat loss, okay? And so what time of the day do you release the most adrenaline? First thing in the morning. So what time of the day do you think it's best for burning fat? First thing in the morning. Here's the before and after pictures. So on the left, 